Hey everyone, this is James, and this is the brand new Mod DMX3. I just wanted to take just a minute to uh, go over some, uh, go over quickly some of the cool new stuff that's uh, a little bit different than uh, Mod DMX uh, 2.0, 2.1 software. And uh, so let's just get into it. Um, I mean, obviously this is our patch window. Um, we got almost a full universe here. This is uh, I had a table at LDI, and this is that file. And I had a bunch of about thirteen division panel, um, uh, thirteen division panels in the setup. And uh, uh, Cobb Cannon DW. Focus Spot 3Z, Hizzy Beam RX1, uh, Stinger Gobo, Stinger Star, a Mini Decker Laser, 3D Vision Panels. I also had a, a 3D demo set up as well, um, but I'm not going to run that right now just because just, it's just a quick video. Um, so, yeah. So that's and so I, what I did was I set up all these groups individually so I could obviously go in and uh, record them, uh, we played them all back separately. So um, while I'm in the edit tab, let's just show you guys, um, just kind of show you guys around a little bit so you can kind of see what's up. I mean, obviously, I've only got um, well, a couple scenes per group, and I uh, obviously got way more 3D vision panel scenes than I do anything else. I mean, these things were uh, just uh, super fun to play with at LDI, so I programmed a little bit more for them than I did everything else. It's it pretty fun. Um, so right off the bat, you see all the different different groups that I have. Uh, I just decided to set it up. Uh, for a group for each fixture type that I could stack them and stuff. So let's just go in and show you stacking. Um, if so, if so I can run the color temperatures uh, channel. The fact that I made, I got a Gobo demo for the Focus Spot 3C. And another scene for the Fizzy Beam RX1, which you can see right here. Uh, oh, let's Channel for the stingers, um, I bumped the mini mini decker, a sequence for the 3D visions. Then I had something going on in 3D, which was over here. So I mean, you can see I've made, I've set this all up to kind of reflect. Um, this kind of looks like the builder window a little bit because you have all the fixtures and stuff like that. But it's it's the, this is the fixture selection window right here. This is where you're going to go to select most of the stuff that you're going to want to program. Um, we're going to get into programming in a later video. I just want to take a, a quick look at uh, what's new and cool. So I just, I just want to show you this window. Um, we can see what all is playing. So, um, yeah, obviously, uh, and they've got all these things playing at the same time. Uh, what I've done is I made a new group called Master and I set the release mode to all BO blackout. I set, I set it to general versus, you know, if you go to group, you know, that's group and that's general. And what general will do is click off every, turn everything, turn off everything else except for the scene that is set to general. So that's what I did. So I could just do this and it's gonna shut everything off. You can obviously um like I created scenes that could jump to the next one below it. So obviously I went to scene number one here and I turned off always loop, turned off release at the end, and assigned a loop number and then I went to jump to I selected next scene and that'll just jump it to the next scene and you just do that for each one and you can kind of build up like a nice little cycle within that group just like that 
Um, so one other thing that's that's uh, new and cool is you have uh, action. And this is different than my DMX 2.0 2.1. Um, you have an actual fade in time, and you can see it. Just uh, click here, turn it on, set your fade in time, set your fade out time. This isn't like my DMX 2.1 where you where you had to set your first step in your sequence if you made one to have a really long fade in time so it cross fades smoothly. You don't have to do that anymore. You can just simply turn on the fade and it cross fades in for one second and then it starts playing through your your steps. So it's it's uh it's pretty pretty neat. It's just gonna show you. I uh, say it's a fade in. Fades between that and then starts playing. Fades between that and then starts playing. You know, and so on and so forth. So that is the new fade function. That's pretty cool. Um, flash mode. Um, so let's go here. Make it a flash and get live. You know, turn all the stuff on. And now, this should be f uh, flash mode. Which one was that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't actually turn it on. Let's see, flash mode. Now it's on. So, as long as I hold my mouse or if I set up a keyboard trigger to this button, it's going to play. So no matter what, flash it. So an actual flash mode. So that that's pretty cool. Shut that back off. Um, so uh, okay. So let's go to the next thing. Uh, we have you have the ability to skip. Let's go forward and backwards within uh, uh, your your group. So just kind of click here, go to the next one, the next one. You can even right click and set it to keyboard or MIDI if you have MIDI enabled for your device. Um, <clears throat> or if you have uh, multiple things selected, you can go over here and go to next through everything. Everything at the top. I mean, some stuff you only have two, so it's just jumping back and forth, but yeah, you can kind of see that. Everything went off. Oh, yeah, so everything is shutting off because that's next in the list. <laughs> so, that's some pretty cool stuff. Um, also, tap tempo. So, yeah, the sequence plays for about well, 12 times. So, let's set it up to go to BPM, uh, step on BPM. So, tap tempo, just turn it on. Doom, doom. You know, it's going to the beat. So, and you can assign this to say like the space bar. Turn on the space bar. Here, check here. Tap space. Click OK. And now fun stuff like that and just right click and set it to BPM or you do fade might have a slight fade and just uh, go back to time signature and if you don't want anything just shut it off 
Uh, another cool thing is to see these see these sliders here. You can turn them on for any scene. Any scene at all. Any scene can have the fader. Uh, there is live master dimmer on each fader as well as a complete master dimmer over to the side here. You can see that. Also there is a uh, like per cue speed fader. So you can speed it up, slow it down, double click to reset it to how it was programmed. And yeah, it's cool stuff. Um, you can increase or decrease the size of the buttons just to save on space. You know, if you have just a static look, you don't need the faders up. Just boom. And of course, you can do every button in your group at once, like that. You know, I mean, you can get like a lot of buttons on one screen. So, um, we've also got audio polls, stuff like that. And another thing that's cool is, let's say, while this, while this is, if I hit play, this is just going to keep looping through all this stuff. Um, and while this is going on, I want to go to, say, the Vizzy Beam Rx Wands, and maybe select just that one, and make it center, and turn the beam on, and then pick a color, and I've just kind of done something live on the fly. And, um, you can see the faders go to LTP and stuff like that. Normally, you know, you'd have to go in 2.1, you have to go to, like, edit or user all faders so on and so forth um, now you can just simply go to reset all and it's going to reset everything um, if I go to let's go back to all the busy beams turn them on turn them center do yellow and if I do I also do, let's say I do the book spot ones, turn those on, make them center, pick blue. And now um, if I go to reset family, it's going to reset the family that I have selected. It should be, let's see, I'll select the busy beans again, and reset family, and it just resets the family. Or um, if I turn these back on and I uh, go back to general and I just want to turn off the middle of each one of these and do reset selected, just these are reset. Or once again, I just hit reset all and they all go back to how, how they were before. So this is, uh, this is all just a very, very brief, quick overview on what all is new. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, more will come to come very soon, I promise. Just got to um, get a bunch of stuff done, and then we can start making some video tutorials. So I hope you guys are all ready to check that out, and uh, talk to you soon.